Hello and welcome. My name is Space Muffin and this is The Void Strategy. So today we have an amazing video. We're going to be going over Ysera, kind of some of the fun things that she can do. She's a really great mini. So before we get started, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button, guys. It really helps us. We're trying to grow the channel. So Ysera is the new Scenarian leader. She's kind of rounding out the Scenarian uh, faction. So she does have three really great abilities. She has Reoccurring Dream, Corrupted Dream, and Shared Dream. So um, I think Shared Dream is really good. I think it can be really funny just to like kind of, you know, freeze all your enemies, you know, for uh, eight seconds, you know, on the board. But um, I actually like Reoccurring Dream better for this particular build. So we're going to go with Reoccurring Dream. We're going to go with, actually, let's swap these guys. So we're gonna go with our uh, Dryad with Thorns. We're gonna go with Bog Beast with Rampant Growth. We're gonna go with Chain Lightning with, reverber with Reverberation. We have our Trusted Moonkin here with Vengeance. We have Execute with Bloodthirsty. And then of course we have our Blizzard with Cold Snap. So you'll kind of see how this, this works. You can also do Ice Crown but um, I kind of like Cold Snap for. Actually, let's go with Ice Crown because we have we already have a lot of stuff that freezes people. So let's just let's go with Ice Crown. But you can go with either or. All right, I'll show you how this works in PvP. So mechanically speaking, this is a very interesting mini. I, I would like to see like a combination of this where like you can get different cards and stuff. Like it would be kind of cool to see like an Arthas mini where you know maybe you get. Or actually, Thrall would be a good example. Like, you get Thrall, and then maybe you get, like, Totems that you can play. Like, that would be kind of cool. You know, stuff like that would just be, like, kind of spice the game up and just make it a little bit more... A little bit more viable, you know? But so, yeah, we can get that, you know, and then we get that um, Blood Lost off. We got him rolling up. Oh, okay, so let's... Yeah, that's, that's okay. She gets to take him. Not a big deal. Okay, so they exploded... Very cool. Let's go ahead and put out... We're going to put out another Bog Beast. And then what we're going to do is we're actually just going to, like, boom. So we have eight seconds where nothing is going to happen. And this this lets us recuperate. This lets us do that. It's actually... I'm not going to say broken, but it's incredibly good to be able to, to, be able to do that, basically. So... We are going to have to start taking stuff. So let's let's figure that out. So as you can see, we kind of have a nice little stun thing going. If that were a more powerful unit, then yeah, it's like they're stunned. You know, there's, there's not much they can do. But then we can just kind of get them all at once. And then what I like to do is you can just do that and just, boom, they're all just stunned for that period of time. So, and then what we'll do is let's put the Bog Beast out. They're going to get stunned again. So this kind of gives us a little bit of time to... You know, you know, develop a, a you know viable strategy here. Oops, I messed up. I accidentally uh, I messed up, but it's all good. So let's go ahead and get this guy out. Let's be aware of the map a little bit more. Let's put the dryad out because we got to start getting we got to start getting gold. That's kind of the main strategy here. We do got to start getting that gold out. And then what we need to do is we need to be a little bit more defensive. I want to put the Moonkin out here just so we can start getting that gold as mentioned. And then not terribly worried about this situation rolling up. You know, we just freeze everybody, get rid of the Necromancer, and then we can ramp. And then let's go ahead and put him out. Let's do that. I'm making several mistakes here, but as you can see, just, like, how powerful the units are. You know, they, they just... They're just so good. So what we can do now is now that we have three units rolling up... I messed up. <laughs> so, so there I go again. So let's just give them both Bloodlust and then, you know, get a couple good hits in. So actually, maybe that was a good play because... Because then we were able to kind of freeze them. Let the Miner go. Ramp again. That ramp ability is really good. So... Put the bog beast out. Start mining, and then and then we're gonna do like a really nice assault. So we're gonna do that, that. Put um put her out, and let's keep an eye on it. The main thing really with this ability, like the um, you know, this spell is literally just giving your guys bloodlust. You know what I mean? So 
It's really good, actually. So we are significantly leveling up, and you know, as we do more games, obviously our opponents are gonna get to be more difficult, but I wanna show you guys just mechanically how this works, and then also mechanically what the best solution is. So, like, this dragon is amazing. Like, it's just super good, and then, you know, you can kinda do that. You can get the stuns off, you know, you can get the dryad going. So there's a lot of options that you have with, with you know, Ysera's minis, and, you know, they have, they have options, but it's like, you can see we're kind of getting in so many hits with this, right? You know, we're getting in so much good stuff with, with just with this, um, with these minis. So, you know, we're going to go ahead and ramp. And then let's go ahead and play our Bog Beast. And then let's see what they do, kind of where we're at. So once again, like, I mean, you can do that. And then, you know, the Moonkin's going to kill, kill them. And then we can just start mining. And then you can just start popping out a bunch of Moonkins, you know, and just really kind of do it that way. And then you can pop out the Dryad. And then, oh yeah, these guys are really good too, actually. They're, they're basically like a, they're basically like the Harpies, but, you know, you still get the poison off. You know, you still get a lot of cool stuff that you can do. And what I like about this being kind of a spell-heavy deck is, or not spell-heavy, but like, heavily reliant on Ysera is the fact that you, you know, you really can put pressure on your opponents without really having to pay much because her minis cost a little bit less. So with the, um, the ability, basically, Reoccurring Dream, it lets us get more of Ysera, like Ysera type minis out. And then we can, you know, play the, uh, the Dryad, you know, for backup. We can play the Bog Beast, you know, things like that. Um, but yeah, I, I think this is... It's, it's kind of amazing, actually, just how creative they're kind of getting with these new minis. Uh, we'll go and end the game really quickly. So, fast way to end the game is obviously just Blizzard. Oh, okay, well, end it earlier. So, we're already doing some crazy leveling up, like I said. We'll see how she does against Jaina. Once again, kind of an interesting strategy that we have here with these minis and kind of with what we're doing. Let's go and get rid of that first. And then we will... See what happens with the Moonkin. Yeah, chest spawning, very good. Let's go ahead and ramp, and then let's go ahead and get rid of these guys. All right, so good. So this gives us, like I said, a little bit of time to kind of come in. The ramp is still happening. I meant to put Cold um, Blizzard on there, but it didn't exactly work out the way I wanted it to, so not a big deal. Let's go and get rid of their Miner. Let's put our miner out. So once again, it's just really about having fun, you know, and really, you know, building the deck that you want to build that's going to work best for you. Like I said, these guys are super fun. And there's, there's a lot of cool stuff they can do. So what I like about this is, boom, everybody gets frozen. Jaina can't do anything. So, you know, we can kind of roll in and you know, do what we need to do. So, yeah, this is pretty cool. And then, you know, let's just go ahead and maybe pop out some Moonkins, pop out a Miner, you know, and great. You know, these guys are doing good. Not a big deal. Moonkins rolling up. And so I could freeze them both again, right? But watch this. Like, boom, you do that. And then you can just put these guys right here. And then they'll kill Jaina as well. So, pretty cool, pretty cool stuff actually. And then, he, you know, the abomination's really good. But yeah, we can just start putting out distractions, start putting out our bog beasts. The bog beasts are incredibly good. I think they're one of the best units to come out of the Scenarian family. And yeah, let's. So I mean, let's do that. Let's put the Moonkin out. Let's get a nice little assault party. The thing is, like, I know it seems like, oh, like, you know, Jaina and this guy's rolling up, but really, like, the fact that you can sleep people, the fact that you have a lot of these elements that let you freeze things, you know, I mean, there's just so much, like, cool stuff that we have at our disposal that it's not really a big deal. And this guy's got the wrong ability on Jaina, and then we're also, like, also doing, like, an insane amount of damage, so let's give our guys a little bit of boost here. And then it should be it should be game actually. Awesome. 
So there's plenty of builds you can do. Like there's plenty of builds. You can do a cycle build. I like this build is because we have options, right? So we have the bog beast to kind of tank. And then we can kind of put out our um, our dragon and everything like that to assault everybody, you know, depending on what we have rolling up. But what I like about this is you just boom, do that, get rid of him. And then now we have kind of a nice clear path for our other units. So like, boom, she stuns him. And then, so there's like synergy. Ysera like synerg synergizes really well with all the other Scenarian units. And then, so I just have the the spells on, on deck for when I need to do like a lot of crowd control, right? So like, for example, I can, I can play the sleeper spell. Let's say that they have like a massive army that I can't immediately deal with. I play the sleeper spell, put them all to sleep, and then I can, um, I, I can, uh, blizzard them, right? So actually, let's do that right now. Boom. Now everybody's asleep over there. And then we can just do what we need to do like that. So I keep thinking that I have her other ability up, but uh, if you have her other ability, which is um, the one that basically affects the sleep spell where like everyone on the map starts sleeping, that that's really that's really good, really overpowered. So, but once again, like, oh, like, you know, these guys are rolling up, you know, hang out for a little bit and then play these guys. And then now you don't got to worry about your tower. So it, I, I think it's pretty good, you know? And then, you know, we just give our dudes bloodlust. And then put out another Bog Beast, you know, to really tank. And then, like, the Bog Beast, like, with that ability is actually incredibly good. Look how much, look how many hits I'm getting in. And then what we do is by the time they're done figuring everything out, we just blizzard them. Awesome, guys. So this will be probably our last game. I wanted to show you guys, this is the exact same deck. It just has Shared Dream instead of Reoccurring Dream. And what's nice about this is you you do have to rely a little bit more on your minis. You know, you can't just rely on that. But, you know, you do have the, the ability to, um, you know, get that shared dream off if you're getting overwhelmed. The thing about shared dream versus reoccurring dream and why I like reoccurring dream better is because you, you'll get more shared dreams. Like, you'll be able to um, see shared dream a little bit more. Versus this particular build, or not, um, sorry, not share dream, but the uh, the sleep ability. Um, with reoccurring dream, you'll see like the like the Yasara minis a little bit more, and I think that's super important for kind of like you know what we're doing or, or what you can do with this particular deck. But I just want to show you like with the with the uh, the dream ability. So let's see. So. Let's go ahead and give them... They're going to play somebody, so we'll kind of do that in anticipation. And then, like, for example, like... So I really, really can't do it here, but, like, you do that, everybody falls asleep. So now this guy's not mining, now you get to mine. And then you get to deal a bunch of damage. So, I mean, it's more really anti-swarm... But in my opinion, that's why you run Blizzard. That's why you run, you know, things that can get rid of spot removal, things that can get rid of the, the swarm type decks. So it is, if you want to be like really annoying, I guess it's kind of fun. But, um, you know, like I said, I think I think Reoccurring Dream is her best ability. The other one, it's it's really specific. It's good. It's just very specific to the dragon. So you, if you're doing like a more poison build, but the Bog Beast really makes this deck. You can actually probably swap out the Druid for something else or the Dryad. Um, the Bog Beast really lets you kind of get those hits in and really lets you tank. So we'll go ahead and plop out the Moonkin. We'll go ahead and plop out our Miner. You know, and then once again, get those hits in. Let's plop out that. It's kind of good that he actually played the uh, that dude because then we can kind of like, you know, develop our stack. So yeah, this is good. Very good. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of the miner. We want to ramp and then get out our own miner. So let's ramp. Let's get out our own dude. And then, so he's going to start overwhelming us with the hogger. So we got to end him quick. And when in doubt, you know, you can... 
Just Blizzard, right? Get Blizzard up. Pop these guys out. You know, get some good hits in. If we had that other tower, this would be a lot quicker. But I decided not to go for the other tower just to demonstrate the ability. So as you can see, like, Reoccurring Dream is, like I said, the best ability because you get more. Right? Like, the, the Shared Dream is funny, but ultimately, like... If Shared Dream maybe appeared more, it might be useful, but the fact of the matter is that it doesn't. And so, it's kind of one of those situations. So, like, for example, I, I can, you know, pop the Hogger. You know, it doesn't really do much, but, you know, it's like, you know, we get we get that, uh, that DPS off. So, yeah, we got two of these guys going, you know, and, I mean, we're going to win regardless, as long as we can keep them out of the mines. But... You know, it, it's kind of one of those situations where it's like, what do you do? You know, put him in front of the hogger. You know, we're just kind of stalling. That's the other nice thing about this is like we can just stall all day. You know, we can stall everybody and then just, you know, keep keep doing that. Gets nice and close. You know, put the dryad out. So yeah, I mean, like, there's stuff you can do. I lied. I want to do one more game. I just, I just wanted to like that reoccurring dream ability is so good. So I just want to do that. But so the dryad. What I like about the dryad is she binds melee units and she, you know, she pops up right. So we're gonna eventually we're gonna steal their their stuff here and then we're gonna give her what she needs to kind of move forward in life. So, let's see. What can we do? What can we do? So, he, he's getting a lot of a lot of gold off. That was my mistake. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. So, what do we do? Okay, so what we need to do is we need to buy a little bit of time. So, let's buy eight seconds. And then what we need to do is we need to gain, the, we need to gain control of that middle lane. So, we can start getting... So we can start getting some gold. Problem is homeboy's really good. But ideally, yeah, that happens. Let's try to get some gold off. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I think we can be in a decent spot. Now is not the time to go for towers. You know, let's just really try to focus on getting our stuff together here. It's going to be a close game. We're, we probably gonna, are going to lose, but let's go ahead and just really start doing what we need to do. So, homeboy's putting in work. So, what we do in this particular case is let's give everybody... Get those hits off. Okay, so very good. Okay, so we do have the sleep ability up. So, I think I think we have it. Let's just put out the many. We know the gold's going to respawn. Let's go ahead and ramp. Let's go ahead and put the homeboy out. So when in doubt, do that. Not a big deal with those guys. We have plenty of bog beasts rolling up. So there's really not much they can do at this point. I'm actually going to give him the bloodlust. Just so we can get a couple hits off. So, yeah, guys. Awesome, guys. There you have it, Ysera. There's some other fun stuff you can do. I mean, you can probably do some fun stuff with, um, you know, Earth and Moon. You can probably do some fun stuff with Smoke Bomb. There's a lot of fun stuff you can probably do with Ysera. She's just a really fun mini. And like I said, I want to see more minis like this. So listen, guys, if you do like the video, leave a positive comment. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, guys. And we will see you in the next video.